it's almost a completely different industry. Um, when I started, you know, early 90s, it was basically dominated by newspapers and just newspapers. Um, you know, and when I started at The Guardian, taking photos for the sports pages, the sports, there were sports pages during the week were two or three pages, no more than that. Um, it never got on the front page, hardly ever got on the back page because the sports pages were in the middle of the paper next to the obituaries. Sport was, sport was a totally different creature in, in those days. It wasn't so big or high profile as it is now. You know, obviously the technology behind printing was very different, so, you know, the Guardian's pictures were always smudging really badly. So people didn't really care so much about them. And nowadays the printing is wonderful and you can see the pictures really clearly. But, you know, when I think about where we are now, it's just totally different. You know, obviously the internet, you know, has come, while, you know, in the middle of my career. And I've just had to embrace what it, what it what it's brought. You know, some things are good and some things are bad about it. You know, when I used to go to a football match, I used they used to want one, one picture, one image. Often, if it was on deadlines, it would be you know the first image I took. On a, so some days I'd go to a football match and leave after five minutes because I had to get back to the paper to get the the, the film developed and the, the picture into the paper for for slot that was waiting for me. Whereas now it's like I'm sending pictures immediately from every second of the game. And literally from the time I take it to the up online can be less than a minute. It's just incredible the change. I think you need far more skills in a variety of different aspects. So, you know, I'm not just a photographer now, I, you know, I take videos and I think that's really important. You need to be able to do everything. You know, we've all got mobile phones that can all take videos, they will always take, all t take pictures. It's all much more immediate. So, you know, uh, a journalist in a digital age really has to know you know, has to be, you know, good at news gathering in a variety of different ways. So, be it, you know, not only writing, but also taking pictures, taking videos, because you never know when you might need those skills. With social media now, you can be, I think, too obsessed with social media. You've got to be very careful with social media as well because it can be really helpful but it can also be terrible for you. Uh, so I, I tend not to do things too quickly. You know, you've got to remember what your first priority is, is for the paper uh, and for the, for the online version of your paper. It's not really for your followers. So, you, you know, you don't want to spoil things. Social media is very important that people get too obsessed by it.